Hey YouTube. <coughs> well, it looks like we got some of the snow. It was about four inches so far. And wouldn't you know it, I had my truck in the garage all nice and clean and everything, and today's the day I have to go get it inspected. <coughs> so, it's always something. You can never win. Oh. Well, I probably won't do any cutting today or anything, but uh, I definitely got to shovel snow and plow snow when I get back home. Well, it looks like they plowed the road. That's amazing. It's probably the gas guys instead of the township. You can see the sun peeking through up there. It's, uh, I think we're at the end of the storm already. Yesterday, it's down in the teens now. It's June's driveway. It's crazy how this weather's been going. I never saw a winter that's so up and down. Well, <coughs> I went and got my truck inspected. And I love it when you go to get inspection and there's nothing wrong with the truck. So it costs you the minimum amount. It pays for your endeavors of uh, making sure that the vehicles are running good during the year. And uh, whenever I need something replaced, I replace it immediately. And if it's like one brake is bad, I replace all the brakes. So you can't beat that. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a good day when you don't have to pay anything extra for inspection. It ended up where we got maybe about three inches of snow in town here. About six inches up our way now. <clears throat> so, I'm headed home. Well, I managed to get everything plowed up pretty good. And <clears throat> cleaned up over by the sawmill. I used that thing to do the work. <clears throat> and I, uh, had to plow over at my neighbor's place, which is uh, about a 1,500 foot driveway, so that's done over there as well. Oh. I cleaned around the sawmill because I'd like to start to cut some more logs tomorrow. I'm obviously not going to do any today though. Yeah, so I'm all right there. It's a little warm, it's warmer in the kiln here. It's about 40 in there and it's only 18 or that thing says 20 but I just checked the other thermometer in the house and that thing said 16 and that one's a little more reliable. I'm going to take Bullseye out with the four-wheeler today, let him go for a run while I ride. So Bullseye, do you want to take a ride with me or what do you want to do? You look like you're... Uh, you look like you're ready to fall back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're sleepy. Do you want to go bye-bye? Huh? Do you? It's up to you. Let me fix this fire. It's been good. I'm gonna fill this up. It should last till almost midnight. You know, you don't really realize <clears throat> how hard winter is on you until you get into your 60s or so. I never used to think winter was that bad. I actually liked winter. But, um,. At this point, I'm just glad that I don't have to walk.
lot of sunlight. So we're probably getting dark around 5.30 now. Come on, boy. Here. Come on, boy. This road here, I can keep track of him real good. Once we get where it starts to have curves in it, I don't trust any traffic that might come around. They might not see him because he blends in so well with the snow.
vegetables are starting to chew up my box here. I'm coming. He wants me to take his collar off. Oh, looks like it's getting pretty cold there. Oh, what do we have there? Four, four degrees. Mind my finger for a second, guys. I'm trying to clean the lens off. Got a little bit cloudy from being inside. Three rows of firewood already this season. It's going to be dark in a little bit. I'm just taking you with me for a little walk here. Not much going on. Um, somebody had asked me about the different tools that I have or need to do the sawmilling and <clears throat> it's not a big deal. I, you know I have a set of forks for the backhoe. That's Jim's chair so he can sit down when he comes. These are some uh, two inch boards that I split that are hickory. I want to make some handles out of them for some different things I have. I have one extra blade that's already sharp that I leave in here so that I can put it on the mill when I get a chance. This is the uh, tool I use for cutting uh, shingles, the wooden shingles. Now I haven't uh, done any thinking about that yet. I know a lot of guys would rather see something where you can cut a bunch of them at one time. And I can probably just make three of those and put them across the bunk and go from there. And besides that I keep some ATF fluid. And a little bit of heat to put in the gas now and then. I don't put a lot in, just a little bit. A strap there in case I gotta have a different configuration to pick up logs. Um, I have a tarp here for in case this tarp gets goofy. You can see there's holes in it already, and it actually came from the factory like that. So I don't know. I guess the Chinese guy that was doing the uh, checking that they missed this one. Anyway, I have a broom for sweeping like the bunk off, the smaller broom. I use that square when I'm trying to um, get an exact number from the bunk up because it gives me a good way to measure. And then a shovel for getting in some tight spots, a broom for sweeping off most of the stuff, um, you know, the bigger stuff, and, and also the logs I use that broom for. And then I have... Um, the tools that I made, that one there is for cutting quarter sawn wood in that radial cut. Those tools, those two there are for cutting the bevel siding. And then I, the two that I made are in the middle here for the dogs to help hold the log in the different configurations. Um, I picked up, I just want to show you this. I also have a, a an ice chopper there, it's a fairly big one. You can use that to scrape the, the concrete off sometimes when you're when the wood chips freeze. I got to come along there in case I need to turn or pick something that's uh, you know heavier than what I can handle with the uh, can hook. And guys, I also bought this aluminum shovel. Now I bought this shovel over at uh, Harbor Freight. I forget what I paid for it, maybe like ten bucks or whatever. But the problem with this aluminum shovel is. The handle literally ends up sometimes on a 90 to the shovel. Just The aluminum just bends that easily. I don't know what it's made out of, what kind of aluminum, but it's obviously not stiff enough to keep the shovel the way it's supposed to be, so I need to do something to that. But that's what I have hanging in the shed here. And uh, the roof is held up good and stuff. Um, had no problem with uh, the shed itself through any wind storms or anything. Um, the only thing I want to do is on the outside of that door I want to put some one by to make it look like a wooden door this summer or spring. 
But uh, other than that, I'm satisfied with the way it is right now. Oh, yeah, so dusk is upon us. I've got a nice big log over there. I don't know if that's a red oak or it might be a hickory. I, don't, I think this might be a hickory log here I want to put on there to cut up this big one. I think that might be hickory, this one here. The rest of them I believe are red oak. There might be one might be one hickory underneath there. Yeah, that one might be. It's hard for me to tell with the bark. Um, I'm used to looking at trees with the leaves on to tell what they are, but I'm going to have to learn how to do it with the bark. That thing's still running. It'll kick off pretty soon. Usually, I, I think I have it set so that right at the end, uh, when it starts to get dark, it shuts down. Well, I'm going to put this tarp on here, and then I'm going to call it a day. Oh, there's a nice pine over there. Needs to grow a little bit more yet. And then I have some down this way. You can see the tops of them sticking up there. Some of them are a little bit small. I'd like to let them grow a little bit. I have a bunch of pine trees Jim and I are going to cut down over by his property this spring. We were just talking about it yesterday, but... We were going to go over there yesterday when the temperature was warmer and everything. We figured we'd go over this week or next week sometime, but now that it's cold again, we'll probably call it off until spring. Yeah, so anyway, what I was saying before, you don't realize how this cold really beats you up when you get older. And then you feel it when you go in the house and take your coat and stuff off. Even my wife is in there taking a nap. She was shoveling this morning and she's wore out too. This thing worked with the holes that I drilled down there, and I have to thank that guy for giving me the heads up on that. So sometimes you don't think of everything, but so now this is easy to come out of there instead of getting frozen up on me. It looks like the moon's coming out over there. All right, guys, um, this is just a little video about what I did today, which isn't much, but uh, have a good one. Bye.